Hey, it's Mark Ferguson with Investor More. We're back with another virtual real estate video about Upland, um, a pretty fun, addicting game slash investment. But um, we've gone through a lot recently with the Berkeley opening, Bronx opening. Now it's kind of a letdown as not much is going on right now, but I'm going to talk about um, investing for yield or rent and um, how I do that too. Someone had asked this question, like, do you just flip properties in this or do you also invest for the yield? And yes, we do invest for the yield as well. And we're going to kind of show you how we do that a little bit. And again, I'm not a massive expert on this game. I'm just kind of chronicling my journey and how I'm learning and everything I'm doing as I go. I started about a month ago and we've done pretty good um, so far. And right now we're kind of um, buying properties in Berkeley still a little bit, but I also decided to take the train and go to some different towns and invest for yield in those. So I'll show you what's going on there too. Now, of course, we love the likes, love the comments, love seeing new subscribers, and I have a real real estate channel as well. Invest for more if you want to see more about our flips, rentals in real life in Colorado as well. Now, this property right here, um, I've just been buying really cheap stuff in the Berkeley area and then turning around and flipping it pretty quick. So um, I think we just paid 16000 for this one, and I've just literally been listing them for just a little bit more. And we've actually sold probably five to 10 properties this way. Made a little bit of money, not a ton, but it's kind of fun. So um, I mentioned in the video, the floor was a lot lower than it is now. And um, we'll talk about that. But right now you can see that's one I just bought for 16. Oh, there's another one for 16. But uh, most of them are above 17,000 now, even 18,000 at some point. So the floor is definitely rising in Berkeley. All right, so I just went to the train terminal and I've decided to leave Oakland, Berkeley, and go chase some collections in some other towns in California. So I did just come up here and buy a couple properties that were super cheap. There was one for 13000 and one for 15000 on Hearst. I'm like, that seems like a really cheap floor for anything in California, in Oakland. So I just bought a couple of those. I'm not going to worry about the collections right now. I feel like they're pretty expensive. And um, maybe I'll come back here. But yeah, we're going to go hop on a train and... Uh, Oh, hopefully I didn't like venture too far away here. <laughs> oh, I can only go to San Francisco. And then I wonder if I can take the train to other places from there. I'm guessing that's my only choice for right now. So I guess we'll do that. All right, so we're in San Francisco. We'll disembark. And San Francisco is very expensive. So I don't know if we want to buy anything here, but we have to come back here anyway. So now... Oh, whoops. We're going to go. Oh, hey, get out of here. There we go. Now we're going to go some other cities. I think oh, Bakersfield had some really cheap stuff. 39 minutes. I've got to leave here and actually do some real real estate work. So we'll send them to Bakersfield. Buy some small collections there. Feel better about ourselves after the Berkeley collection <laughs> reveal. So we made it to Bakersfield. And my strategy here, I just want to go through kind of what I'm doing and thinking. I have over a million UPX, and I just started playing like a month ago. So I haven't been to many of these cities yet. I've never been to Baker, Bakersfield. And so I thought I was in California. I'd take the train down here, maybe buy a few properties, add some collections, add some cash flow to my guy because prices in Bakersfield are pretty low if you look at it in general. Um, you know, you can pay for dollars under nine dollars and i think we can get up here oh if it ever loads there's some cheaper properties for upx in the do to do ten thousand dollar range so there's some pretty cheap properties here in bakersfield i can add some cash flow add to my collection so when i do that i usually go to the upland x uh, site and look at their data so i can kind of see um, prices of properties and um, all kinds of different things here. So I was searching by yield, which is weird. I don't know exactly how that works, but I can search by sales price, search, and I can see all kinds of properties pop up here based on this price. And then um, I don't always just buy the cheapest properties, like there's the cheapest one, but you can see right here that shows the markup. So that's the percentage above the mint price that you're paying. So they kind of base the yield and how much rent you get based on the mint price. So I want this to be as low as possible if I'm really trying to maximize my yield. So I can pay $1,000 more 
for a much bigger property with a much higher mint price and have twice as much yield than I would have had buying that other property. So that's kind of what I look for when going through neighborhoods and collections is just, hey, not just the absolute cheapest property, but the ones that have the best yield. And that's a pretty good yield for a minted property in California. And then I can also, so that's all of Bakersfield. Click on the collections and I can see what collections are there. West Bakersfield is a collection and I can see what the prices are here and I can go by sales price or like we were just doing, go by the yield. So you can get a property in Bakersfield under a 200% markup in a collection. So that's pretty cool. Now they're kind of expensive, but we were just paying that much money in the Berkeley opening for a lot of properties. So um, 25,000, that's not that expensive for properties in a collection with really small markup. And I went to some other properties, you know, you go to San Francisco, you go to Oakland, um, some of the new Berkeley stuff, uh, and those properties and collections are like 500, 600% of markup above yield. So you get a lot better deal here. They might have not have the appreciation potential of those cities that are more popular, but if you're looking to build some cash flow, some yield, some money coming in, these smaller towns have some opportunities and you can build your collections as well. So I think collections are kind of cool, but I'm not like completely set on just having as many collections as possible because if you're paying 600% markup, 1000% markup for a collection and it pays you two or three times the yield, right? If you're just basing on yield, that's not a good deal. Now, if you're doing it because you want to see appreciation and the prices really jump later on, then maybe it makes sense. So there's kind of the pros and cons of yield versus appreciation. And you see that in different towns too. More popular towns are going to be more expensive, have higher markups, maybe have more appreciation. The lower town, the smaller towns will have lower prices, lower markup, higher yield, but less appreciation too. So I might go through this and um, pick up some of these properties here. I think I will do that right now. And um, just go to West Baker Bakersfield right here. I can see wherever that is. I don't really know. Sometimes I have to pull up Google Maps and just search for these things because it's a little easier. Oh, look at that. That's huge. Look at the size of West Bakersfield. And then since I'm here, I can pull up the collection too and just see um, West Bakersfield 1.25. Not a huge bonus, but still it's kind of cool to have stuff in collections. So that's all right. And if we're, um, can go through here and look for the properties or we can just look for the address. What was the one? 25550 on Lone Oak. Let's see if that's there. Nope. We have to scroll out. I don't know. It's so huge. If I do this, I might get a whole lot more properties. Yep. And I don't even know if I can scroll down. Nope, there's... <laughs> so, I won't show all this, but I'll probably go to Google, pull up some addresses, figure out kind of where they are a little closer, go in, buy the high yield ones, and complete a collection, and maybe see how far up in price we can go. Like, we can check out the other collections here, too, and see the Oaks. Let's see what those prices are. 60. Oh, we're still on markup. 34. But look at these markups, way higher markups. And uh, so, you know, 34 is not bad, but that markup's pretty huge. And then we go look over here at the collection and see what bonuses you get. What do we say? The Oaks. So 1.56 bonus. It's okay, but is that worth paying so much more money? I don't know. We'll see. So I'll mess around here, maybe buy some properties and uh, add them to my collection or yield. And then I guess patiently await the next opening. <laughs> it's kind of a letdown when the opening is done when the collections are announced, you put all this work into it. You have all this anticipation, a little bit of anxiety, like trying to buy properties and figure out where collections are and then some disappointment about which ones were picked and where your properties were. And it's all done. It's like, Oh, now what do I do? Well, I guess I, randomly walk across the country and buy some other properties. That's what we'll do. All right, so we bought three properties in that West Bakersfield area. You can see them right here. I just bought ones that had pretty good 
yield and then I clicked on the collections tab to go here and then you have to wait a little bit while they mint on the blockchain and then after you wait a little bit you just tap on here and it'll fill your collection oh we good all right yay great hooray we have a collection collect my money there you go a whopping $800 <laughs> 800 UPX for that but I have a new collection so I don't know if I want to do I mean I might buy some more just basic Bakersfield's ones um, I might go for some of these I don't know we'll see they're kind of expensive but uh, we'll look some more through it all right so we are back in Berkeley I came back here from some other towns we bought a few properties in Fresno, not even in a collection, I don't think, because the yields were so low. Um, we fulfilled some collections in Bakersfield, and we're back in Berkeley. And yes, I did um, fill a collection in the South Berkeley area, just because prices were have dropped quite a bit to 40000 even some less. Whereas right after the collection reveal, they were much higher. And um, I think that'll be a decent collection to have here. But... Um, Otherwise, we're still just kind of flipping a little bit here and there, and I also am looking for yield too. And you can see that I even fill this one. Oh, I didn't even fill South Berkeley yet. So we'll fill that collection right now. And something else I did, which I'll show you too, is I wanted to come back to um, Berkeley because my city collection, you know, every city has a small collection, yay, <laughs> um, just for properties anywhere in the city. I wanted to relook at my collection there because I know I think I said sold some properties so it wasn't complete anymore and the collections only give you money if they're complete and then I wanted to also make sure if we go over here and by the way the East Bay is like the whole Oakland collection it took me a long time to realize that I thought man I can't find this East Bay neighborhood where is it well that's all of Oakland but I figured that out <laughs> so I went to the collection and what I did is I looked through all my properties in Oakland and Berkeley and I picked the ones that have the highest um, rental income, highest yield. So they made sure those were in the collection because that will make you more money, right? If you have very low yield and you're making, what is it, 25% more, you know, obviously it's not going to be a high dollar amount where if you have your high yield properties, you want those to be in the collection as opposed to the low value properties. So went through, I think most of them were in Poets Corner and one in Ocean View to find the properties that had the highest yield, put those back in this collection and that increased my yield overall quite a bit. Um, buying these properties right here should increase my yield quite a bit. If we look at that now, we can see my net worth is 4.7 something. I think it's 4.8, but I'm guessing these properties I just bought haven't been added to the blockchain yet or not showing up yet. So that's decreased, but we're still increasing that net worth. And some of that is you know flipping stuff in Berkeley and we had a big property in the Bronx sell that I had for sale for a while. And all of a sudden, someone came along and bought that for 175 that I had minted. So it's pretty cool just to have stuff sitting out there making you some money. And then you can put a price on it. And someone oops, can come along and buy it as well without doing a whole lot of work. So a lot of fun stuff in this game. Yeah, I'm just going to show you here. We're up to 31,000 UPX per month. And I think we're at 29, 28 this morning before I added... The South Berkeley collection and redid my Berkeley collection for just the whole city in general. So that's just a little bit of insight. Look into how we also invest for yield. Again, it's not a huge amount of money you're making, but compared to what I've invested into the game, um, it's a pretty decent amount. And so that's pretty exciting to see that grow, to see that grow. And we'll keep building this too, as well as keep trying to flip properties maybe do some more city openings, all of that in the future. All right, thanks for watching. Love the support, love the likes, love the comments. And like I said, we have a real real estate channel as well. Invest for more. If you want to check that out, we'll be back with a lot more coming up here soon.